All right. 10-7, similar triangles. Um, the word similar means uh, somewhat the same. So there will be things that will be the same and some things that will be a, a little bit different. Um, for example, you know, we have girls in our class that are similar. Um, obviously, their girls might be the same height, um, but might have different hair color. Um, or some might be tan and some might not be um, different nationalities, but still the same gender. So that would be that would be similarity. The same thing works for triangles. And there are two uh, rules for triangles to be proven similar. And here are the rules. Rule number one is that their corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so uh, the opposite angles of, of different triangles will be exactly the same. Again, congruent is just a word for equal. That's a term we will start using quite a bit. You'll also see that a lot in geometry. They use the word congruent instead of equal. Okay, so then the second rule is that corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, so corresponding angles congruent, corresponding sides are proportional. So we're going to take a look at a couple examples here in just a second. Now just kind of wrap your, your head around those two, um, those two statements. Every time we do a problem today, you need to ask yourself those questions. Are the corresponding angles congruent? And are the corresponding sides proportional? Okay, let's take a look at these two triangles. Um, let's put our congruent marks on there, which means those are equal to each other. Let's make this 66 degrees. Let's make that one 57 and that one 57. And let's call this um, A, B, C. And then we're going to go with D. E, F, okay, A, B, C, and D, E, F. Okay, so my question to you is, are they similar? Yes. Or no. Okay, now we don't know anything about the sides, so we need to look at the angles. I need to find out what the angles are. So all of the angles in a triangle add up to equal how many degrees? And so our angle sum theorem tells us they equal 180. All right, so let's let's look at triangle DEF. If two of them are 57. And we don't know what E is. If I added them all up, they should equal 180 degrees. And so that's going to be 114 plus E equals 180. Now I'm going to subtract 114 from both sides. And I'm going to come up with 66 degrees. So angle E is 66 degrees. And you see that our base angles are the same. Well, look over here. That's 66 degrees. And our base angles are also the same. So we could go through and we could do 180 minus 66 and then take that and divide it by 2 because those angles are the same. Or we can just recognize that these have to be 57 which means all of our corresponding angles are congruent, which makes this a similar triangle because all of the corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, they're gonna give you different looks, different triangles, some triangles that are separated, some that are together. Here you should see, okay, and I'm going to, uh, draw this and then erase it. You should see the big triangle around the outside and then you should see the little triangle on the inside. So those are the two we're comparing. 
the big triangle to the little triangle. All right, so let's get rid of those. And what kind of triangles are these? Um, they have right angles, so they're both right triangles. And here's my advice, okay? I would separate them to look just a little bit differently. All right, so I'm going to actually um, separate the little triangle out of there. So I'm going to draw another, uh, another triangle over here to look something like that. I'm going to turn it around like it would be, okay, and I'm going to separate the little triangle out of there. Um, this would be, oh, not that, I need a pen. This would be, ah, seriously. This would be my right angle. Okay, and here's what we're going to get on sides. Um, this is going to be a three, four, five. So three, four, five. Okay. And then our biggest one is nine, uh, 12, 15. Okay. The question is, is the triangle similar? Yes or no. Now I didn't mean to pick a three four five. You can you can already see that we have multiples of a three four five. So obviously this one is similar. But how would I prove it if it wasn't a three four five? What we need to do is we need to pick the corresponding sides. Notice that um, three and nine are corresponding sides. Okay, why? because they each have a base at the right angle and they connect to the hypotenuse, okay? That's going to make 12 and four corresponding sides. And then lastly, our hypotenuses are five and 15, which makes them corresponding sides, okay? So what do we do with that? Well, we compare their ratios. So let's start with the yellow. We've got nine over three. You could write it, pardon me, you could write it as three over nine, um, but I always choose the big triangle first. That's just personal preference. If you choose the little triangle first, make sure you choose a little triangle first on each one. Does that equal, okay, big tri triangle again, let's go with green, 12 over four. And does that equal 15 over 5? All of these have to be the same fraction, or they're not proportional. Obviously, if we reduce all of those, they're going to be 3 equals 3 equals 3. You could also cross multiply and get 36 equals 36. And then 60 equals 60. Okay, Because of their cross multiplication, it makes it the same. But again, are these similar? Yes. All right. If they wouldn't have been similar, one of those fractions wouldn't have come out to be three. Okay. All right. Let's do one final example. Okay. Let's take a look at these. And, and we're going to leave... Um, we're going to leave three empty spaces on here, and we're going to ask you to find those three empty spaces. So let's say that um, that this angle is 100, and this angle um, is 30, and over here on this one, We have 30 and 50. Okay, 30 and 50. This one's also 50. And then for our sides, 
we have 7, 8, and 10. Okay. 7, 8, and 10. And this side is 24. And we're going to ask you to find A, B, and X. Okay? So I'm going to put it as X equals, A equals, and B equals. Okay? Now, obviously, X is going to be the easiest to find. Uh, 50 plus 30 is 80. We know that all of our angles have to add up to equal 180, so X has to be 100. Okay, that means that uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase the X, and I'm going to put the 100 in there. That means that our triangles are similar because all the angles are equal. Now, we need to set up a proportion, okay? And we need to find out proportional sides. So let's look at our, our right triangle because it only has the 24. And the 24 is diagonal from the 50. So I go over to my other, my other triangle and I find the side that's diagonal from the 50 and I see that's 8. So 8 and 24 have to be proportional. So I take 24 over 8. Now I'm going to set that equal to, now I can pick either A or B, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to erase this in here because we're going to do a different one. I'm going to go with A. A is on the bigger triangle, 24 is on the bigger triangle, so they both need to be on top of the fraction. And I'm going to go over here and look at the one that's opposite the 100, which is 10. And now I solve this proportion by cross multiplying. 8 times A is 8A. 24 times 10 is 240. And we'll divide both sides by 8. So A equals 30. So A is 30. Uh, the first one is a degree, so I would put degrees on that one. Sorry, I forgot to do that. A is a side of 30. Okay. So now we erase A. We know that that's 30. Now I'm going to use the same 24 over 8, and this is for A. Now we're finding B. I use the same 24 over 8 because we already know that one. I know that B is on the top, and so which side does B correspond to, okay, or excuse me, which angle does B correspond to? It is diagonal from the 30, so over here, diagonal from the 30 is the number we haven't used yet, which is 7. Okay, so we cross multiply and get 8b equals 168, divide by 8, and b equals 21. Okay, so we find three missing parts just by using proportions. All right, about 14 minutes. Uh, we'll see you on Friday. Just a reminder, um, the... Uh, the weekly quiz for tomorrow um, is canceled, and uh, this is for second hour, Algebra 1. We will be focusing on this issue tomorrow only. All right. See you in the morning.